All right, welcome back to SRD Plays The Mick, Road to the Show, my homage to the great New York Yankee, Mickey Mantle, Hall of Famer, center fielder, switch hitter, home run hitter. What else can you say about him? That's everything. Taking on the Chicago Cubs, going against Mr. Rizzo. Rizzo. We've got Bryant and Rizzo. And we're going up against Jason Hamill. Mickey has hit 20 home runs in the last 10 games, averaging two home runs a game. Let's see if we can continue that. He's already found a pitch he likes, and he's um, already put one deep. The search for 500 footers continue. That's probably about maybe mid 4, 400, 430, 440. Yes. Girardi's like, man, I can't believe my luck. 424, okay, a little shorter than I thought. 76 feet away from 500, that's my goal. I want to get a 500-foot home run. I have not done that yet. I think the longest I've hit really is about 476, so. At bat number two, we got runners on first and third. Oh, I slow. Oh, nice catch. I got robbed out there. Did not get the base knock. Did not get my home run. It's quite disturbing. That's all right. We're up four to one. At bat number three. Oh, right at the center fielder, man. One for three. All right, they, the Dagon Cubs came back and tied it up. Let's go. Oh, crush. Mm. Looks like I maybe made 10 rows up. Another 420. Gives us the lead. Don't even try to come up and tie it. Mickey puts his back in front. 402. That's it, really? Okay. Where'd that thing go? That's like 370 to the fence right there. Very high. Very high home run. Uh, okay. Kind of hard to tell there, but two for four, two home runs. We are up nine to four. We got a sinker baller in. That's in the gap. I love the sinker ballers, man. Some people find them hard to hit, not me. I'm just going to stay right there. All right, two home runs and a double. He's going to uh, have a stolen base on his resume here in a second. At least the attempt will be there. Oh, slide step. Trouble. He got me. Mickey is tagged out by Brian at third base. He's talking to himself. Well, that was the, the hitter, but Mickey's like, ah, oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. Mickey's making so much money now, it doesn't really matter that $1,000 fine that uh, uh, Girardi gives him every time he screws something up. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. When they get that uh, World Series bonus. So, anyway, the uh, Yankees are on a roll. Let's play another game. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? Mickey's going to hit a few today. No, Cubs, no. Mickey looks like he's got a little bit of a limp. Did he hurt it? Did he hurt his knee? Did he, did he trip on a drain pipe like he did in 1956 to end his uh, speed career? 
Going up. Oh, it's back. It's deep. It's not deep enough. Man, you're not running on Hayward's arm. All right, let's go. Okay, they got me playing center field this game. Last game I was a DH. It's catchable. The guy just sitting there looking like not even back me up. What if I missed it, dude? Alright, Addison Russell. Got a runner on no runners on. Nobody out. Another catchable fly ball. Got it. The speed. He just gets there so quick. That comet speed. All right, we are 0 for 1, which is inconceivable. But uh, we got a runner on first. Hmm, boy, that's deep. That's out of the park, man. That's out of the park. I don't know how far that is out in Waveland. It's over 400, but it ain't 500, I'm pretty sure. I got to do my power swings rather than the, the regular swing, I think. 464. Pretty sweet. All right. Let's watch the show track. Exit velocity 112 miles an hour, 27 degrees, 464 feet. All right. It's, not, it's amazing for mere humans, but for Mantle, it's not that amazing. Oh, then that's a shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. That could be 500. I don't know. That could be 500. It's close, right? It's got to be at least 470. I would think. I would think it's at least 470. Oh, what? 451? That's it? That's amazing. Another show track. Another two show track uh, episode. Only 108 miles an hour on that exit. Maybe that's why it didn't go as far. Beautiful swing. All right, and we're tied up five to five again. You got to be kidding me, man! Sinker baller, sinker baller. Oh no! Whoa! I'm in there. So where the wheels pay off? Okay. All right, I'm stealing again, and I am not going to take no for an answer this time. Oh. You gotta get back. Oh, it dropped. <laughs> okay. I didn't think it was gonna drop, man. I thought he caught it. I thought he was gonna catch it right there, man. Alright, well, I'm gonna steal now. Come on, whoever's on first base, we're doing a double steal. Mickey just calls everybody he knows kid. He doesn't know their name, so. Come on, kid. Now both runners on the move. Pitch outside. Yes, we're in there that time. All right. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. And to me, they just can't let guys get lead like that. Yeah, can't, you can't give a guy a lead like that. So. Here he swipes third, and they just kind of gave it. All right. They're walking him. I was going to say, why can't I move? Whenever they walk somebody, they kind of freeze the runner so you can't do anything crazy like steal home while they're trying to intentionally walk somebody. I think that's bogus. Alright. Base is juiced. One out. Just get the ball in play, dude. Don't strike out whatever you do, man. One and two count. 
first? Do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Come on. I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. All right, that's one. And we just settle for the one run. Okay, what's the deal? Where are we? We took a 9-5 to five lead. Mickey wants another shot. It's a line drive dead center. Caught at the wall. All right. Jump all over that fastball, and it might have been a home run if he had any elevation under it, but it was basically right at. It was a line drive shot. Yeah. All right. Girardi says, "Okay, Mickey. He's gonna he's gonna waive the fine this time for being thrown out at third base." But uh, yeah. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode. Mickey was three for five with two home runs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like. If you've not yet subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And we will catch you next time on SRD Plays The Mick Road to the Show. Thanks.